Hello and welcome to the Midweekly Update. My name is Matt. This is where we have a sneak peek into what's happening in the life of our church this coming week. Cue the music. We start with breaking news. Our on-the-ground reporter Steve coming to you from a secret location. Steve, over to you. Hi, this is Steve with your first and last episode of Thoughts from Africa. For Africa. Yes, that is correct. I am no longer in Asia. I am back in the motherland, South Africa. And today marks the first and last installment of Steve's early exit out of quarantine. Now you might be wondering, Steve, you need to be in quarantine for 14 days. And what makes you think you can get out before the rest? And that's not a thought that I've birthed. That's been birthed by the powers that be. And it all started when I ordered Jacob's coffee online and it came sealed with this lock around the lid and I puzzled how can I have my coffee when I can't open the lid and after hours and hours of deliberation of how to open this coffee I was inspired to penetrate it from the top and as a result I can now have coffee because I punctured it from the top so I found a workaround that was a confidence booster seeded in by the powers that be to begin a broader journey of an early escape. What then happened was a reality that I hadn't figured out until it all came together after the Jacob's coffee moment. On this massively large TV screen has been a screenshot of prison break that I have not been able to exit. Since I've been here, the powers that have been have been seeding in prison break. This is the only thing on this TV that's viewable. There's a screenshot of Prison Break. In my mind, I'm starting to think, what is the story that's being told to me? What is the ask of me? And then, i take you to the latest development that has resulted in my escape, my exit out of it. And it's this floor map. Essentially what this is, I've done the maths, I've done the calculations, it's giving that it's wanting to give the allure that it is the floor map of the premises that I'm in, but actually it's a map that documents my root art. Okay, it's a map that says if I am here, if I am here, and therefore this is the corridor that leads out, it's basically an analogy for this room. Therefore, if I want to move out, I need to reverse engineer the map according to my room. And so what that does is it shows that the only exit out based on the floor map of the property, which is essentially an analogy for the floor map of my room, the only way out is through this door. You might be wondering, Steve, this is an interesting apartment that you're staying in under quarantine. And that is correct, very fancy for a government facility quarantine. But what is the meaning of this door? Why is there a door in your beautiful quarantine facility? That map points me here and come with me with this journey as I commence my early exit out of quarantine. It's another door. Stay tuned for the next episode of Quarantine Diaries, Stephen's Early Exit Home. You heard it first here, and you heard it right. Steve is back in South Africa. It's a crazy story, an amazing adventure, and an awesome miracle of God's goodness in Steve's life. Can't wait to share this story with you in the coming weeks. Steve, thank you for all of your hard work in dangerous spaces and times, bringing us entertaining and educational content from Manila and now from Joburg. We look forward to the continuing hanging out with you on your adventure as you enter, re-enter, back into society. Thank you, Steve, for all the hard work. It's now time for the ins and outs of what's happening in the life of our church. We start this Friday night at 7 p.m., Friday Night Live. We will be Zooming together. It's going to be a fun time. We've got some youngsters that are going to be sharing their stories through these times, their testimonies of God's goodness in these moments. So, Zoom code is over here. My contact details are over here. You are welcome to join us if you are a teenager or if you have a teenager. Encourage them to log on to Zoom. We would very much enjoy having them with us. 
Then Sunday morning at 9 a.m., we continue to meet live together online from the warehouse. It's been such fantastic times of encouragement together. We're having people watching from all over South Africa, all over the world. We've been having awesome stories of people being encountered and touched by Jesus in their homes all over Durban and all over the world. Awesome stories of God's healing power. Wonderful, wonderful times together on Sunday. We're making the best of the current situation. So we want to invite you Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Join us for church on Facebook Live or YouTube Live. Invite a friend. Let's see God change lives and let's be a part of that journey. Then at 10.30 a.m., Dale is continuing to Zoom with our grade sixes to grade nines. All of you, you're welcome to join. If you know any grade sixes to grade nines or you are a grade six to grade nine, join in. They're having a fantastic time journeying through the gospels together, being encouraged by each other's stories. So join in grade sixes to grade nines, 10.30 Sunday, Zoom with Dale. Zoom code over here, Dale's contact details down here. Hope to see you there. Then at 5.30 p.m., we continue to meet on Zoom as we continue a conversation around the hope of Jesus in these trying times. We know that for many of us, this is a crazy time, an uncertain time. But one thing we know is that we can rely on the certainty of Jesus. That's what our conversations are around on Sunday evenings at 5.30 p.m. on Zoom. The Zoom code is over here. My contact details are over here. I wanna invite you to join us. There's no restrictions. Join us on Sunday, 5.30, as we continue that conversation. And then I want to end off today's midweekly update with our final What's Coming Up. It's Wednesday, the 15th of July at 7.30 p.m. We want to invite you to our first church-wide What If Prayer Meeting on Zoom together. We want to invite you to this. It's going to be an incredible time as we seek Jesus. But I'm not going to say anything more about it. I'm going to hand over to Brett as he closes off today's weekly update and invites you to join us for our first What If Prayer Meeting. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week. Stay safe. Cheers. Hey guys, I, I just want to share some of my thoughts with you right now. Uh, we're 101 days into uh, lockdown and we have to consider our journey forward. Uh, what that means, our re-entry. I really do believe we are going to be uh, gathering. I just don't know when. I know we will land. I just don't know when. In the meantime, I believe this is a what if moment for us. What if this is the perfect time to bolster ourselves forward, to do something fresh, to shift gears, to call for more in our attempt to advance God's kingdom? What if we use this lockdown period, this lockdown time, to creatively collaborate and to rethink our re-entry? We are a church that gathers to worship, that practices cononia, mainly in a building that's left the building. We have left the building. We are a church that's in the street, but for all the reasons, we can't really be in the street. And for now, we're an online church. We always want to stay true to being a Christ-centered, kingdom-focused, spirit-filled, love-motivated, value-based, intergenerational bunch of Jesus worshippers who value and give dignity to every single individual among us and around us. We believe that God appoints gifts to the church, to lead the church, to care and feed the church, to bring the church to maturity, every believer to maturity, to build them up and to equip them for service. We believe that God has appointed um, believers to discern the hows of the mandate God has given us to make disciples. Our desire, I believe, is to collaborate together as a team to achieve the God-given common cause we have. Not everything is a straight line. We all know that. But we have to trust God in it all and to take kingdom advancing risks to love hard, to stay together always. As I said, not everything is a straight line. Like what happened in 2016 when that wall fell down. Not a straight line. Like in 2018 when School of Leadership fell into our hands. Not a straight line. And like in 2020 when the COVID pandemic struck causing a global upheaval. 
not a straight line. How do we use this time creatively and collaboratively to rethink our re-entry? How do we enter that space so that we can land properly, so we can gather as a church? This would mean uh, moving forward in a fresh and exciting way that advances God's kingdom so that we can reach the lost, that we can care for the poor, so that we can build up the saints to spiritual maturity. We have to look at everything. What if this is a moment that we recalibrate ourselves? We don't just think outside the box. We, we think about a new box. Like the Bible says, we look at a fresh wineskin. For that to happen, we have to consider lots of things. We need to consider our space. We need to consider our time. Community is a big consideration. We need to reconsider our mission. We need to reconsider how we assimilate and integrate newbies into the life of God's kingdom and into a healthy relationship with Jesus. We have to reconsider our journey online. We have to always reevaluate our main things, how we belong, grow, serve, go, give, and pray together, and how we equip the saints. And we have to always stay true to our chiefest goal, which is to love and worship God with our whole hearts. This means we must pray, we must talk, we must dream together. What if this is a time God has appointed for His glory and for our faithful stewardship? This could be such a time. With this in mind, I want to invite everyone who has a heart for prayer and a love for this church to join me for our first online What If prayer session on Zoom Wednesday, the 15th of July at 7.30. What if? Ciao.